Uh, Anna, uh, you're obviously here as part of the UEFA study scheme. Uh, yeah. what, what's your thoughts on those schemes? I think it's fantastic. Uh, this is something that UEFA started three years ago, maybe. And it's been uh, uh, to share ideas. So this time we have three countries coming here. And in the spring we went to Belgium with two other countries. And it gives us ideas. We, we yeah, and... Uh, Talk about what's working, what's not working. You cannot just take something that is working abroad and just put it on us. But it gets you get food for thoughts for food for thoughts. You say, yeah. So uh, I think that, uh, and I think you know, it's also get uh, us an opportunity to show what we have here in Scotland, which is fantastic. And I'm really impressed by this. Uh, now what we see here tonight with the. Uh, under 13's development, under 13 squad, under 15, under 17 hips here at Trenent Training Centre, and it's, I think it's a great, great step forward that hips have done, to, to move, uh, uh, well, to move in the girls here. So I just think this is, this is the first step, and then. Uh, I'm sure now also with the Champions League that that will be something that uh, Hibs are really delighted at that, that, and, and will, would like to support and do something very good with. Uh, you've been the head coach of the Scotland women's team for yeah. 10 years now. Mm -hmm. uh, in that decade, uh, what improvements have you seen in the women's game? Well, I can say in these 10 years, everything. I mean, I think that we had good football players 10 years ago. but. They didn't train enough, they weren't fit enough, uh, they couldn't play the game that they wanted to play. But te technically they were good and tactically also quite good. Uh, but, I mean, it's been the development, 65% of all the clubs or even maybe 70 of all the clubs in Scotland 10 years ago was a one-team club. Which means that they just had, Hibs just had a women's team. No development team, no youth teams. Everyone just had a senior team, and that's what all what they were managing. And and they trained maybe once, maybe twice a week. But so it's it's infrastructure, uh, pathways, academies, everything, coaches, quality of coaches, coaches with badges. So everything has developed. Facilities. I remember the first the first one when I saw Hibs play at the, uh, in Dalkeith, and I thought and the pitch was not very good, and the, so the quality of everything has has increased. Mm. Uh, have you learnt anything from the from the people from Croatia, uh, Holland, and uh, Turkey from from this trip? Well, uh, yes, I've I've learnt uh, something, but but. I've learned also, which I'm proud of, that they were, as me, very impressed by Hibs under 13 here and thought that the players could play the game, they understood how to play football, great first touch, great technique. So, I mean, that's coming from Croatian uh, uh, coaches and instructors for the, from the Croatian FA, I think that's quite impressive and that's something that we should be proud of. Uh, you watched the under 13s. Uh, were there any players that stood out there for you? Yes, there were. But but I must say, yes, there were some that were a little bit better maybe than others. But in general, every one of them were good. So, uh, yeah, I, I I thoroughly enjoyed this evening here, and also to hear the presentation from from Hibs. A lot of the coaching staff uh, for the women's football at Hibs are volunteers. Uh, does it impress you that they manage to produce such good quality players? I think that it doesn't matter if you are uh, well. Of course, if you're if you're paid to be a coach, then then uh, uh, of course maybe you have come a little bit further. But the most important thing working with these young girls is that you're enthusiastic. And uh, I think most of the coaches here, we have a very good coach education in this country. So they, they uh, uh, are, are good teaching the players how to, to, to play the game. Mm. Is, it, uh, is it beneficial for, for the girls to be uh, using the same facilities as the men? Yes, absolutely. I think that uh, both are winners in working together, because uh, yeah, well, sh you share the you share the resources that the boys and men have, 
but also i i mean taking the girls in is is for hibs showing that they take responsibility of developing not just half of the population but actually giving opportunities to the whole population to develop and have fun in hibs